Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video here today. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can set up and use Glance. Uh, so Glance is a self-hosted application that actually is a dashboard, but the cool thing about it, and I was surprised by how much it actually has is it actually does a lot. So it's not like your normal dashboard, like I've showed with like homepage or whatnot. It actually can, you can do a lot of integrations with like, you can set up uh, Twitch channels to, to watch um, in regards to like which ones, like if they're online or offline, you can see uh, YouTube channels and what people's latest videos are. There's also some Reddit related stuff, hacker news, weather, the market, and a ton of other stuff that I was like, wow, this is actually like a lot of things that you can set up and use with. Um, so I'm excited to kind of create my own and you know all the stuff that i i would usually like look at or monitor um so i have i've only played with it for like the last hour so i haven't really gotten much set up on my own but i will show you how you can set one up yourself and kind of get started with it so let's do it all right so first thing that we'll need to do is set up uh, a server a vm for it so let's get dns uh configured so that we can essentially uh, call it by your uh, a host name versus a uh, IP. So we'll update the seer for our DNS. We will name this glance. We'll set the IP just to be the next one. So 160. And we will add a glance to this. So this will set up all the DNS in the back end um, and reload the zone so that we can use it. The next thing that we'll need to do is set up our Ansible Playbooks inventory file so that we can target this host um, VM when it gets created and install and patch and do all the default stuff that we will need to do. So we will type glance in here. So add glance and we will commit that as well. And then from here, we can use our AWX uh, instance to run the playbooks, to create the VM, patch it, do all the things that it needs to do. We'll double check the jobs, make sure that the uh, inventory uh, and the source repo finishes syncing first so that it, it's actually there. Um, because if it wasn't there yet um, and you ran the job, it would be unfortunate and you know errors would uh, pop up. So we'll wait for this to finish running. It only should take a few more seconds. Um, this is pretty quick. Um, so it's still doing the inventory. Um, but what we'll do is run this workflow job template that will install, uh, create our new VM on Proxmox, patch it, install Docker and Docker Compose, which we'll be using for a glance because that's um, how it's set up. And then it will set up uh, certs on my step CA server and then Nginx to essentially use those certs so that we got HTTPS, which is great because HTTPS is a lot better than HTTP and then you don't have to go through that. This site is insecure, you know, page that you would get. So let's launch this template. We'll call the host name Glance. The IP will be what we just added. We'll name the dragon, uh, the VM name and proxy must be dragon glance just to separate it. Then we got to get the proxy. So let's look at glance GitHub real quick. Um, and so we can see here that there is a few things in here and we can see that there is a Docker compose and we will be using this. Um, so you can see that the port is 8080. So we will do HTTP localhost 8080, hit next and launch. So this will just go through the pipeline. It will go through each step after the previous step was successful. It will run the next one. So you can see create VM, then patch, install Docker, Docker Compose, so on and so forth. So we all let this run. It'll take a few minutes to run. So we'll resume once this is finished. All right, now that has finished um, doing the virtual machine setup, we should have our server and we should be able to SSH into it. So we are SSH into glance.dragon.local. We'll type in the password for it and we have a prompt now. So what we can do is essentially copy the Docker Compose because in our Ansible playbooks, it essentially already installed Docker. So I don't need to do that now. We'll paste in what uh, it has. And then you'll notice that there is this glance.yaml file that it's expecting in this um, directory essentially. So we, we need to actually create it. So 
glance.yaml. And we can take a look at the configuration here, actually. Um, I think it's under docs and configuration. There is a pre-configured page that you can use um, to kind of get a general gist of it and then kind of work through it. So we'll do this first, but then we will update it with a few things as well. So we'll paste this and then we'll save that. And then we'll just do a doc compose up hyphen D for a detached mode. So this will pull it, uh, the image, and then it will use the file to essentially create the dashboard. So what we can do is go to HTTPS glance.dragon.local and we can see that this is the dashboard that it creates, which is pretty cool off the bat, right? Um, there's there's a lot of uh, stuff that it already added. So you can see like there's Hacker News, there's Weather, there's the Markets, all these are adjustable. You got your videos, you got the self-hosted self -hosted subreddit, Twitch channels, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look for a few things. So like in here, we got Twitch channels. So like, if you wanted to add one, it's pretty simple. Um, glance, glance. We can update that section and you can update it to the Twitch channels that you would watch. So for example, if you were to watch my Twitch channel, it's Dragon Slayer 501. I do stream Valorant and a few other things occasionally, not, not very often, but occasionally. Um, I think I might try to do a little bit more this year. Um, Docker compose up. So we'll essentially restart the container with the new config. And then we should be able to see if we reload here that it picks up my channel here. So you can see that this is also my channel. So I am currently offline because I'm not actually streaming, but when someone, when I am streaming, it should show us online, um, as well as like these videos here. So you can actually update it so that you can see my latest YouTube uh, videos as well. So like right over here where it is um, type videos. So you can see that there are these channels and these are like the three, you know, they, these, these are some tech channels as well. And how to get this specific link, and I'm actually interested in showing you this, um, is you would actually have to go to youtube.com, go to the channel. So we'll go to my channel will hit my channel page and then you hit more here and then share channel and then copy channel ID is what it actually uses. So if I were to say, for example, replace this one, Oop. let's uh, make sure I do it right. Replace this one, that with my channel ID. Um, we can delete the other two here real quick. Docker compose down and Docker compose up. We can see now on it that you should be able to see my videos and my latest one as of as I was making this video was a mechanical uh, keyboard that I got, which is really super clicky that you could probably hear um, in in recently. So this was really cool because then you can see, oh, hey, look, uh, I either create a new video or whoever you're subscribed to, you can see, hey, they have a new video out. So um, those are like the cool things that I found so far, but in the documentation, there's a ton of other stuff. So you can do uh, like Reddit specific, you know, things. You can also do some monitoring, which I'm really interested in doing, where it would say, you know, uh, if your service is up and down, um, I have upside humor to really do that, but that is one of the other ones that I was really thinking, oh, that'd be cool. You got some DNS. I don't even know what the repository stats are now. Um, as, oh, okay. So that one might be interesting repository stats. Um, especially I wonder if that works with GitLab, GitLab, uh, it looks like GitHub, um, for sure. I might have to test it out with like GitLab, but you can also do like bookmarks. Uh, and other things. There's so much in here that I was like, okay, I need to take some time um, and time zones. So you can do multiple different time zones too, as well, especially if you're working remotely with multiple coworkers that are in different locations. Then there's the stocks. Um, you got your Twitch channels, you got uh, list top Twitch games and, and a few other things that you can definitely look at and find and configure. So I'm looking forward to playing around with this a lot more to kind of just get of, you know, a few things that I'm like, I would look at all the time, like home lab subreddit, self-hosted subreddit. Those are 
my few that I, I look at to try to get some more cool, you know, videos and whatnot. Or just cool hardware that I would like be like, do I buy this next? <laughs> um, so you can see that. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. You can add uh, or delete stuff based off of um, you know the YAML file. So everything's just on YAML. Um, so it's pretty cool. And or if you have RSS feeds that you subscribe to, you can definitely grab those too. So and then there's formatting um, if you want to just change how it looks too. Um, but I'm probably not going to change it too much. I'm not much, you know, a UI UX guy. I'm probably going to leave it with this custom and then just add a few things. But you can definitely add my my uh, YouTube channel for sure. And you can get all my latest videos as they come up when you take a look at your dashboard. So. Anywho, that's pretty much it for this video. Glance is super cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.